God bless you. God bless the land of India. I see a great fire of revival in India. I'm seeing a great fire of revival in India in Jesus' name. I see myself included coming to India and it is not it is not so far from now God is going to release missionaries to India missionaries to India but what I'm seeing is um, there is a so much that has happened in India that God is not happy about. Because I'm seeing a lot of abortions, I'm seeing a lot of killings in India, and I'm also seeing a lot of rape of young young children, 10 to 12 years. I'm seeing rape and I see them being infect, infected with HIV AIDS. And God is not pleased about these things. The government of India needs to stand and defend its people. I don't know how long that president has, has been in power, but there are things that he promised to do for the people that he has not fulfilled. I'm even seeing government restrictions that have been put in India that are not so uh, that are not that do not make it easy for people to be able to worship God and that is why God wants to bring his fire of revival there has been a cry I'm seeing women crying in India I'm seeing women being raped children being raped I'm seeing children of 10 years 12 years that have HIV AIDS because of rape, some are given for prostitution by their parents. It is shocking because a few minutes from uh, before now, I was recording a vision God gave me about Kenya, and now I'm releasing another vision about India. What I'm seeing is if the people of India humble themselves and seek the face of God and turn to God. God is going to heal the land. But right now there is a lot of bloodshed. I'm seeing people that are being killed in secret in India and their body parts are being sold. I'm seeing witchcraft, black witchcraft, voodoo that is going on in India. God is bringing his fire of revival in India. But the people of India need to open their hearts to receive and to hear from God. I'm seeing people in India that have hardened their hearts. They are not Hindus, they are not Christians, they are just, they don't want to believe in God. And I'm also seeing drugs that are being sold in India in secret, destroying the lives of people. I'm seeing in the next five to ten years in India, it will be hard for you to find a young man that can be of use, that can even build the nation, that can work. All of them will have been affected by these drugs. Most of them, 80 to 90 percent, because I'm seeing drugs that are being sold to young people, even in primary school and in high school in India. The government of India needs to fulfill, and this is a calling to the government of India. They need to protect the people. Because what I'm seeing is that there was a, a planned coup in India that God averted. I don't know which year it this was but i see it like some several years back there was like a planned coup coup to overturn the government but god averted it because i see the citizens of india are not happy the economy of india is not doing well people are languishing in poverty actually what i'm seeing is that india has more poverty than some nations in africa some countries in africa those people that are watching me and you come from the U.S., you've been sending your aid to Africa. God bless you. But you also need to direct your efforts to India because I'm seeing people that are languishing in poverty in India. People barely survive. They just 
take one meal per day. I'm seeing pregnant women that have spent up to three days without eating. I'm seeing breastfeeding moms that have spent up to three days without eating, and they are um, they are about to they are supposed to breastfeed. The children are crying because of anger. Rakaboska. I don't know why I'm seeing people dying in India because of anger. And this is God, something God is saying we should pray and cancel. I'm seeing a season of dryness that is about to hit the nation of India. I don't know, but Indians need to stop killing one another. You need to stop this bloodshed. Nag, I want you, I'm speaking this because I feel God wants to you to hear this. I, I feel you have a calling of God. You need to speak to your brothers and sisters, the people that you can. These killings have to stop. These killings in India have to stop. This sacrifice, because I'm seeing people in India being uh, given for sacrifice. I'm seeing bloodshed of innocent people. It has to stop. And what has angered the Lord mostly is the rape of these small girls. Rika Boshka. I'm seeing small girls that are living in trauma because they have been given to prostitu into prostitution. The moment you get to the age of 9, 10, you are, you are taken to prostitution and you never even get the money. Your parents is taking the money. Some of them, the fathers are turning to rape the girls. I'm even seeing Sodom, Iraq, Abosh, Karabash, Shikete. God is not happy about these things and God is bringing his fire of revival in India. But Indians, those that can pray, those that love God, need to stand in the gap because God wants to change and turn this nation around. God wants to turn the nation of India around. God wants to bring a revival in the nation of India. Very soon, Hinduism is disappearing. I know this this sounds difficult. This sounds impossible, but God is going to do it. God is doing it in the nation of India because of just a few people that are worshiping God in truth and in spirit. And not just India, several countries in Asia, strong, huge, a huge fire of revival is coming your way. And I'm seeing God has already uh, a portion of people that is sending there, people from different countries, people from different nations are being sent to India. I'm seeing myself there included, but I see my first assignment is in Pakistan. Todd, you are going to find missionaries coming to India to the point that the government of India will start blocking it. But if the government of India tries to block what God wants to do in that nation, God will uproot most of them from power. God is going to uproot most of them from power. Because I'm seeing top government officials that are going to lose their lives. God has given them enough time to do the right thing. But I'm seeing a time is coming. As more missionaries come in, the government is going to try and block and block the entry the government will try to block the entry of missionaries to India but it is not going to it is not going to work what is going to happen in India is something that the world has never witnessed before so India's Countries in the Asia, Pakistan, Iran, Iraq, get ready because God is coming. God, God, God has released people. God has released angels. I'm seeing angels that have been stationed to prepare the way for missionaries. And there are even churches in India that are aware of what God wants to do. God is going to give them, God is going to make them ready to receive these missionaries. Father, I pray that your will for India is going to be done. Your will for India is going to be fulfilled because I see India should be moving economies because India has one of the largest populations in the world. If you'll agree with me, India has a very high population. 
and the people in the nation of India are so hardworking, but they work so hard only for them to get so little. Rika Baska Yanda Kaske. And last year I gave a prophetic insight that there are people, so many Indians, there are so many Indians that have settled in Africa. In every country in Africa, you find Indians with business. God says he wants to bless the nation of India so that it, it will make it favorable for the Indians to go back to their own country. There are so many Indians that have settled in different parts of the world. They are everywhere. They have big businesses. They are doing well. Why is it they are not able to invest in their country and build the economy? Because the policies in their country are not so favorable. So they go and look for countries. They settle in countries in Africa. Like when you come to Kenya, there are so many Indians and we love them. Some of their children have even been born here. They have been born here. They know Swahili. They are Kenyans. They have never even, some of them, they have never been to India. And last year I gave a prophetic insight that God was going to, God was going to, God was going to make it favorable for these Indians to be able to go back to their country so that they can settle there and do well. God is making it favorable. And one of the things God is going to do is to uproot some of the leaders in the government. They are making it difficult for the children of God, for the citizens. And I see they are also going to block missionaries from coming to to India, Rakaba Secretaries. God is making it favorable for Indians to be happy so that they can be able to live for God, so that they can be able to praise God. You saw what God did to Egypt, to the Israelites. Israelites lived in slavery for almost 400 years. They lived in slavery for almost 400 years. And God delivered them from the slavery that they were living in. What I'm seeing about the nation of India is some of the Indians, most of the Indians are living in slavery. Most of the Indians are living in slavery in their own country. They are living in slavery in their own country. Rakabushka. And this is what God is saying. God is saying he wants to bring a change in the nation and the country of India. He's bringing a change in the whole of Asia. And God is going to bring leaders that are going to come up with favorable policies for the citizens of and the people in Asia so that all all these people that are in Africa and other countries because I feel they desire to be at home you know there's nothing that compares to being at home there's nothing that can compare to you being at home where you can relate to your people you can see this is where my father comes from this is where my mother comes from and that is the feeling of some indians as much as they are doing well in these countries in africa and other countries they would wish to be at home so God says he's going to make it favorable. God is going to make it favorable for these Indians to be able to relocate and take the businesses so that the economy of India can grow. God wants the economy of India to grow. The fire of God is already on the space, airspace of India. We are coming to India because the fire of revival is already in India and God is saying this that is raising musicians powerful gospel artists in India the same grace that is upon Nigeria to bring up powerful gospel artists is coming upon India because I'm saying that India is gifted but the people are using the gift to sing secular music God is raising a powerful generation that is going to worship in truth and in spirit there's an uprising that is coming in India. There's an awakening that is coming in India. The Spirit of God is hovering around India in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. Rika Boska, Rika Basikete. God is only saying that if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, I'm going to hear from heaven and I'm going to heal the land. So the Indians, people that are in India, whether you are currently residing in India, 
or you're in another country, but you know you have an Indian descent. You need to stand in the gap for your country. Stand in the gap for your country. Let us stop this rape for small children. Let us stop these killings. Let us stop these abortions. Let us stop these drug things that are going on in India. The government needs to step up. God reveals to redeem. Remosh karabaska yanda kaskeribos. Father, we give you glory and Father, we thank you for the nation of India in Jesus' name.